What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a Midwest family. Nice to see you all again. We're doing some more electrical stuff today. So we got a light here in our kids' playroom that hasn't worked really since we moved in. And that's been uh, like two years now. Just over two years. Uh, so like, I don't know, for me I like to push projects off. Um, but here we are, we're gonna try to get it done today. So we got a, a four foot fluorescent light fixture up in the ceiling. Um, I brought some lamps in to try to give us some light. And I'm going to change them out to LED. So these are um, T12s. They're the bigger, fatter um, fluorescent lights. And we're gonna put in uh, the T8 direct wire type B so you uh, you remove the ballast and direct wire them so these ball this two pack of bulbs I got the other day I think it was <clears throat> I think it was like 15 or 16 dollars or something like that so they're not that bad uh, but we're gonna get this opened up and get this rewired now I will say I am not a licensed electrician this is how I'm gonna do it uh, do this at your own um, discretion um, I'm not responsible if you catch your house on fire now or if you zap yourself but we got the switch off um, I'll check the stuff I'll check the wires uh, once we get up there and all that good stuff once we get there but let's get this pulled down and get going stick with us all right, so this light has these two tabs. You pull and the cover swings down. So there's that. We'll remove the bulbs. Remove the ballast cover. So this is what we got. Once you remove the cover, we have our incoming wires here. You got your black and your white. Then you have your ballast. I think the ballast is bad, that's why they don't work. Uh, but you got your yellows coming to the one side, and then you have blue and red going to the other side. So we're going to check the power here to make sure this is dead. And once we discover that, we will then um, we will cut the blue wire, red wires, and the yellow wires. And we will probably use these wires as jumpers because um, I don't know if there's enough wire. So that's what we're gonna probably shoot for. All right, so fixture's dead. We're going to Cut the blue wires from the ballast. Or the, we're gonna start with the red. And then we'll do the blue. And then we're gonna come over here and do the yellow. And then we're gonna unwind this a little bit. There's a screw here holding the ballast on. Try to remove that. I need you when you get a minute. All right, <clears throat> we're back. We had a sibling crisis. 
crises has now been diverted. So we're back at it here. So we're going to take our incoming wires and we're going to strip off a little bit. Um, let's strip off, I don't know. about three quarters of an inch or so this is 20 gauge wire it looks like we're gonna strip off the one side this is the red wires and then we'll strip off the blue side Then we'll come over to the other side and we'll strip off the yellow. Oops. Okay. So I'm going to take the two yellow wires and connect them to the white wire and I'm going to twist them together and use a wire nut here give them a light tug make sure they're all in there good call that good now I'm going to take the black wire and connect it to the blue, the two blues and the two reds. I don't know if you can see that or not, I guess, but I'm trying to do it so you can see it. Give those a small tug, make sure they'll stay in there good. We're going to open our box. Get out of there. So there's a quick size comparison. The T8s are an inch diameter. The T12s, I believe, are an inch and a quarter or inch and a half, something like that. Um, if you go back with the fluorescent style, you have to match the size with what's there because the ballasts are sized to that style of light. Um, these plugs on the end are the same, but the T8s and the T12 ballasts are different size outputs. So we're going to put our cover back in, put our lights in, and check it. So there's our cover. We're gonna put our lights in. Moment of truth. Ta-da! Just like that, we have light. 
my little tripod mount here. Stole it from the uh, laundry room. Perfect. Mom's going to be so happy. I got one more set of lights to do in the laundry room. That ballast is starting to go out also. But it took me two years to do a five minute job. Yes. We'll put our cover back in. I thought they would have been brighter. But yeah. Yeah. I definitely thought they would have been brighter. Well, I might uh, change out that other set for a different one. Um, oh well. It works though. I mean, it's pretty easy to do. Now I just gotta get, um, if I wanna get brighter bulbs, I can just swap out the bulbs. But yeah, so there's the old ones. New ones, it was pretty easy to do. Um, only took, I don't know, I think it was like five, 10 minutes, something like that. So these LED type Bs, uh, the type B stands for bypass. So it's the bypass ballast, uh, it bypassed the ballast, so you don't need to replace the ballast. Um, there is a type A, which I believe still uses the ballast that are in the lights. But I didn't want that, so I went with the Type B. You can see it was pretty easy to do. Um, but there we got it. So, one project done. Many more to go. Right. We're having a big reveal. Yay! Let's see it, Mom. switch and we have lights now don't have to use these we've been and playing and then the kids can turn the lights on without mm -hmm. knocking these lamps over i already told them but it's been like two years it, yeah. it didn't it stopped working like right as we moved in the house so we've been using the lamps for like two years now nice no i like it it's just i guess i never well we've never it's had the still, light on it's weird because it's there's not a light here yeah it's fine though. I mean, I, we could probably find different, more of a, a white light instead of the orange or yellowish light. Nice. No, I like that. Did you, did stuff fall, you think? What? Did stuff fall? Well, I vacuumed down here already today, but. Did stuff? Yay, we have light. Did stuff fall? Mm. I fell from the heavens. <laughs> yeah. All right, so there you got it. Light install. I hope you stick around for the next video or adventure. We'll see you then. Stay safe. See you next time. See you next time. Bye.